back to your hotel on South Beach, do not put South Beach into the GPS system. It gets very confused, okay? Just put Miami Beach. If you do put South Beach, you will end up in France, okay? I'm just putting it out there, let you know. It's very lovely this time of year. It takes a long time to get back. Be careful. All right. We are going to see some beautiful architecture on our tour. Can anyone tell me the style of architecture South Beach is so well known for? Art Deco, yes. Now, traditionally, Art Deco, it may be like the Empire State Building in New York City or our Chrysler Building, very sleek in design. Down here on the island, we have what is known as Tropical Art Deco. You can usually recognize it by the fabulous colors that are splashed on many of our buildings down here. Interesting fact that not too many people know is that when these buildings were originally built in the 1930s and 1940s, they were mostly just white, shades of beige, shades of gray, because that is traditional for this style of Art Deco. It actually was not until the 1970s, when all of these beautiful buildings were refurbished, that all the fabulous colors came about. But I'm going to talk a lot more about the history of the Art Deco neighborhood in the second portion of our tour. Okay, everybody looks so pretty today. Look at you guys. Nice. Beautiful. Look at the people up here. All right, so we're getting ready to cross over what is known as Alton Road. We are on the west side of the island, still heading west. Okay, Alton Road runs north south. Are we in New York all of a sudden? What happened? Yeah, they love us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alton Road runs north-south, and this is where you'll find a lot of the locals living, okay? The east side of the island by the ocean, you'll find the hotels, you'll find all tourists and the great restaurants, but here on the west side, you'll find more of the locals living it up. You'll find the grocery stores, you'll find more traffic, you'll find the dry cleaners and such, okay? But still a very, very busy place here on the west side of the island. All right, we are getting closer and closer to the bay. We are getting ready to turn our duck bus into a duck boat. Who's excited? Yeah. All right. If I didn't mention this before, of course, this is a Coast Guard inspected vessel. We do have the required life jackets on board. They are either located underneath your seats or above your heads in the back. All of the children's life jackets available directly above your heads in the back on the left. Two emergency exits are on our dock. One is over there, one is right here. But these are the silliest emergency exits you'll ever see. We'd like to take a wild guess what we're really going to do in the unlikely event of an emergency to get out of here very quickly. Jump. Jump, Jump out the window. Okay. Don't forget to take your seatbelts off. All right, I'll help you. All right. Woo, we are um, taking this right turn here onto Purdy Avenue. Now, this is going to be a quiet zone. We do have a lot of lo the locals who live right around here, so they don't like to hear me yammering too much on the microphone. So we're going to be on the quiet side. But something very important to do, when we are making our way into the bay, it is going to be very important that I'm, when I count to three, when I say three, that you all throw your hands up in the air and wave them around like you just don't care. Okay? <laughs> We want you quacking on the inside. Hi, beautiful ladies. Look Hi. at you. Hi. So pretty. Hi, you guys. Hi. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. quack. A little bit very quiet with my quacks. All right. So we do want you to throw your hands in air out there. Our pits feels good. Also, I'm noticing, maybe because of the sun. Because, quiet zone. What's this guy doing, Fritz? What's he doing? Can we sneak by him, you think? I think we can. I don't know. Let's see. Whose truck? Is this him? I think it's him right here. Captain Fritz, he's coming with his keys. That's good. That's good. He's coming. A little narrow area. Um, oh, what I was saying is, I think when we were leaving, it was really sunny on that side. Once we get in the water, we're going to ask a couple of people maybe to move over to the other side of the duck just so we even it out. <laughs> Captain Fritz likes it even. Other Captain Sharky, he doesn't care. But this Captain Fritz, he likes it nice and even. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's see if our passageway is clear. There it is. We're about to go into Biscayne Bay, everybody. We are on the west side of the island. We're going to be traveling east towards the mainland. Sorry, west towards the mainland. I don't know where I am. Oh, thank you there. Thank you, thank you. We have people here from all over, right? North Carolina, South Carolina, Charleston. South, not you. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. He comes from far away, too. And then Charleston. You're, they're from there, there, too. Do you know them? You said you're from Charleston? No, wait, where are you from? Charlotte. Charlotte. I get them confused. Okay. Charlotte. Charlotte. They're from Charleston. Sorry. No, they're behind you. Okay. Just moments away.
water bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Closer to the water. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple paddle boarders. 